To get started in Google SketchUp, go to your desktop or go to your desktop in your documents and find the shortcut for SketchUp 2016. Right click on the shortcut and make sure you pin it to your taskbar. 2016 Google SketchUp should open. When I first open it, I need to choose a template and I'm going to choose architecture design meters. Select that and start using SketchUp. You can uncheck this box here, which means you won't see this dialog box again. You should note in Google SketchUp 2016 our architect is female. I now need to import my floor plan into Google SketchUp. I have previously scanned my floor plan and that's been emailed to me and I saved it into my documents. And you can see I've got a couple of versions here. I've got the floor plan as a PDF and the floor plan as a JPEG. I'm going to show you how to open your floor plan as a JPEG. To do that you need to open Photoshop. Once Photoshop is open, select File, Open and find your floor plan in the folder in which you've saved it. Now mine's in an architecture folder and I'm choosing the PDF to open. There's my open PDF. I now need to file, save as. For this floor plan to be able to be read by Google SketchUp, I need to change its type to JPEG. Click on the drop down arrow and find JPEG. Select JPEG, save. Once you've saved it, you can close Photoshop. You need to go back to Google SketchUp. In Google SketchUp, File, Import. You need to go to the folder in which you've saved your file and you need to make sure that the file type is changed to JPEG. We're searching for the JPEG that you've just saved in Photoshop. Select it, import it. It'll come in attached to your cursor. You're going to take the cursor to the origin and you're going to make sure it lines up on the green axis and on the red axis. Click once and now you should be able to drag it out till it's quite large. You'll note that your floor plan should have a blue line around it and you can use this orbit tool here to click and move your drawing around to see what size it is. I now need to resize my drawing. To resize my floor plan I'm going to zoom in to a measurement I know and in my drawing I know that this room here is my garage and from one side to the other is six meters. So I'm going to use the orbit tool to orbit around and then I'm going to zoom in and I can zoom in just using the scroll ball on my mouse and use the pan tool to pull it down a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in quite close on it and have it centered. Choose the ruler tool, click on one corner and then go to the other corner. In the bottom right corner there should be a, a, a dialog box that's got some measurements in it. I can't see that currently. If I click on this button here to reduce the size of my screen, you can see it tells me it has a length of 1.59. I don't need to click in that box. I want to just type 6 and push enter. SketchUp will now ask me if I want to resize my document. I'm going to say yes. And if I click on this button here, the zoom extents, it shows me my model that's been resized and my architect is over here in the corner. I also need to turn my imported JPEG into a texture so that I can edit it in Google SketchUp. To do that, click on the selection key, click on the floor plan, right click, select explode. And you should note that your floor plan now has dots all over it just like mine. I'm going to go camera, standard views, ISO, and it pivots around so that I can see the whole thing. I can use the scroll ball to zoom in and out. Once you've reached this point, file, 
save as. Save it into your folder with the rest of your architectural adventures stuff. Give it a name. I'm going to call mine Wilkins 1. Choose the folder that you want it to go into and click save. 